we don't raise beef or anything on our homestead, so we try to harvest deer during the fall deer season to supplement our meat. Okay, we have some venison, and we are going to make some jerky today. Now, this is three pounds of venison, and it's already got the fat put in it. Otherwise, we'd be adding uh, a quarter of a pound of fat toward every pound of meat. In it. Okay, the seasoning that we're using is salt, paprika, minced onion, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, black pepper, and we're gonna be adding a curing agent as well. One tablespoon of salt, okay. about three quarters of a tablespoon in here of the paprika. We're gonna do about four tablespoons of minced onion. Okay, we're gonna put one and a half tablespoons of black pepper. One and a half tablespoons of garlic powder. Now this one is to taste. We're going to do about three quarters of a tablespoon of red, pe red pepper flakes. I'm going to mix this all together. So I pour it in the meat. It's a nice, even mixture. We're adding all the spices together. I'm going to go ahead and add the curing, the Nesco prepackaged cure. You can get a curing agent separate. I'm going to mix this all together. <clears throat> so it's a nice, even mixture when we pour it in the meat. We're going to add the seasoning. A little bit, a little at, bit a time. at a time. Turn it up a little higher. There you go. Okay, in addition to the spices, so we're gonna add, we're gonna add a little bit of ice water. And we're gonna start off with about a quarter of a cup. This is gonna help thin it out a little bit so it makes this more evenly and goes through the shooter a little bit better. I want to mix it up evenly throughout the meat. We've got this mixed up. We're going to cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for at least four hours. Let that meat cure good and the spices uh, blend and all that. You got to load this up with some meat. Try to do it so that we get all of the air out of it. I think this holds a pound and a half and we've got a little over three pounds, not much more. Uh, we've got to load the gun with the casing and we've unrolled it just a little bit. We're going to put it on as far as we can, cut it off, twist it, and then we'll start loading up the jerky. Okay, we're going to load the stick on. Come on, Heather. As far as that will go on, we know we'll cut it and turn it. Twist it or whatever. Hold on, wait. Um, I'm just about there, I think. Got to cut it right here. Twist it. Let's see if you can get it on anymore. I just can't see well. Need a tray to put this in, or you good? We're good. Okay. Coming out yet? Mm -hmm. Getting the air out of it, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it came off. The whole metal piece came off. Okay, we managed to get uh, the jerky put into casings, and. I've got two boxes of guns sitting out here because when we first started this project, I was using the LEM gun, which is, you know, a heavy duty commercial quality uh, operation, so they say. Uh, but as a review for them, I probably won't recommend them 
uh, and doing this, this cap underneath that cap is the end of the barrel and that part broke. And how? I don't know. But I called them and asked a technician for some assistance on how to fix it and they couldn't recommend anything. So basically this tube, I could, re I could buy the whole barrel, but that's it. They didn't have any recommendations. So we ended up ordering a new gun, and this is a stainless steel, it's a wild digit, and we are not sponsored by any of this stuff, and nobody has paid us to say anything good or bad or whatever, but we ended up getting our jerky done with the new uh, wild digit gun. So it's done, we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about three or four hours and move on. Okay, we've got the Traeger grill started. We're going to put the meat sticks on. It's a little windy outside. Because it's so windy outside, you can barely hear. I'm going to put these meat sticks on, and I'll show you when I get them on. Got them on the grill. We're going to let them go about three hours until the internal temperature is about 165. Okay, this was it. Oh, man. Those flavors all come out. That is some kind of good.